I'd like to take a minute to talk about uh, cost in Cuenca. <clears throat> there's a lot of discussion about it and uh, there's websites that will tell you ridiculous things but you can find good prices if you look. If you're looking for a secure American style um, building uh, you're probably going to spend between 500 to 600 on average up to 12 1500 dollars How's the river look? You think it looks low? Hmm? I think it's a little lower, but it's not bad. It looks very Yeah. Is that a fake tree? No. It's it, a real one. Where the did, one is there. Where did it come from? It was there. It looks fake. <laughs> oh, yeah. But this has the perfect shape. <laughs> That's why it looks fake. question, why do I wear a hat? They thought I was hiding a balding head. No, no balding head. I wear a hat because I, on a trip, my first trip to Vicabamba, uh, I didn't realize how piercing the sun is on the equator, how direct it is. And I walked from the hotel into the town, which is, uh, I don't know, 20 minute walk. And the sun was just boiling my brain. Here's your story, let's begin. So I got a request from a local friend to uh, bring up the difference of the cultures of Ecuador and North America, uh, particularly the United States. The difference between Ecuador, and again this is generalization, but it's a pretty accurate generalization. Ecuador tends to be a passive country. They accept what comes. In the United States, we're an aggressive country. We kind of create what comes. Our history has been tame the West, rugged individualism, pull yourself up by the bootstraps, that sort of thing. In Ecuador, um, I don't know exactly why. My theory is because it's been um, one to two thousand years of subjugation under the Cunari, the Inca, the Spanish, and you know, if you were, let's say you were in the time of the Inca and you lived in a little village of a few hundred people, men, women, and children, um, and here comes 25,000 trained, experienced military people. There's nothing you can do about it. So what do you do? You, you contend with it. And so I think that's my theory. And I think the culture here of just deal with what may come is very different than North America, you know, for those reasons. That being aggressive is actually construed as being rude. You don't have to be completely like Ecuador when you're living here, but you need to understand that when you're dealing with things. You need to have more patience, more understanding. It's completely foreign to them to just walk in and say, hey, what's the price? And for us, it's kind of the point. You know, it's like, I already did my homework. I know I want this one. I just want to make sure I can afford it here. It's good. Here's your story, let's begin. It's right before your eyes. Well, good morning. 
Hope everybody had a nice Christmas. It's um, December 26th. And uh, Monday is the official holiday as Christmas fell on a Sunday, typical to the United States as well. Today I'm going to uh, try not to ramble too much. I know that's a problem, but I'm going to talk about street food a little bit. Um, one of the reasons I ramble is I don't really do notes. I just think about, you know, a topic and then I just do it. I don't want to be staring at notes and that sort of thing. And I'm rambling. <laughs> street food. I love street food. I've been to, as I've mentioned before, 18 different countries. I've lived in three countries outside of the United States. There's street food everywhere. Vietnam was the first time I ever ate monkey on a stick. In Japan, I ate kangaroo. Um, I didn't realize it. I thought that was just a logo on those delivery trucks, but they actually uh, have kangaroo there. Um, I've had all kinds of crazy foods and mostly delicious. Uh, meat on a stick is something uh, typical around the world, and uh, I just love anything over charcoal. Season 6 of Grand Columbia. This video will be an intro to Season 6, but it won't be the first episode. Of course, most of you watching know that I've moved to Columbia, and I've covered that in the last handful of videos. But I think it's important to start off the season with one huge disclaimer, and it's what I'm going to cover in this intro. Most everyone that watches these videos are doing it to plan a move. They're thinking about moving abroad and where can they go and how easy is it and how difficult will it be? Is it feasible? Yes, this hat is mangled. That's part of the story that I'll cover very soon. But I'll be getting a Columbia hat here shortly. But back to my point, you're watching this because you want to know should you move to Ecuador, should you move to Colombia, should Costa Rica, and so when you see something that says Ecuador or Colombia, like I do videos, then you're going, ah, oh, what can I find out? And that's my purpose, is to give you truthful information, good or bad, chips fall where they may. It's cliche time. I don't share a coat and I don't fluff. Life's a foolish game. Do you ever feel the same? Here's a quick video of my little hole in the wall as I choose my new apartment. I've got several to choose from, but this is a furnished temporary residence sort of thing. Quite small, but uh, I'm just here for 10 days. And uh, let's see what, out, what's out this window. It's one of this group of buildings. Security gate over there. This is first step in Armenia. building. Another one like it, another one like it, another one like it, and let's go take a look at a possible new apartment. So my fingers are crossed that the sound came out okay on my uh, panoramic shots here of uh, construction. 
because I left my microphone on and the batteries went dead. That's why you see it unplugged there. And so I'm working off the microphone of the camera, which has always sucked, but uh, we shall see it. And here's the refrigerator. It's about five feet tall and maybe two feet wide. Here's a Here's your story, let's begin. The world is fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before you. Now, back to Colombia. National Geographic once stated that if Earth's biodiversity were a country, it would be called Colombia. And I'm going to show this video to everybody who is a member. So if you've joined, you're going to see this video. Coming up, depending on what tier you're in, you're going to have some behind the scenes video I'm going to do a comparison of video when I first began and show some progression as I went along and and then you can see how it is today. Good morning, and I'm right on time. And I've got my coffee. And it's not blue. So my coffee, somebody asked, what's that coffee you drink again? This is a coffee I drink, Sorrento.